Hey guys, what is up and welcome to another Unity tutorial and in this tutorial we will make a main menu in Unity and yeah, let's get right into it. So the first thing that you of course want to do is make a new scene, don't forget to save before you do this. Here you click new scene and yeah. Um, then what you want to do is we can just go to 2D mode. And you want to make a new canvas, so right click UI canvas. And you can double click on it to focus. And the first thing that we want to do is here in the canvas st scaler, um, do scale with screen size and we can just use 1600 by 900. Good, so if you have done this, you can of course, or yeah, you need to right click on your canvas and make a new UI um, panel here and yeah you can of course set the color I'm just maybe make a like this color maybe I don't know you can make any color you want this is maybe pretty nice and yeah what you can also do is change this to none because um, the standard one has like um, on the edges a bit it's a bit weird on the edges, but so you can just set it to none. So the next thing that we want to do is also right click here and make a new UI uh, text. And here we go. So you of course want to maybe rescale it a bit. So we can just set maybe 300 by 50. And you want to click on this and on this here. Then you can uh, bump up the font size a bit. Yeah, this should be good. Maybe a bit bigger. We can even make it a bit bigger here. Uh, maybe like this. And you, we just call it maybe uh, play. You can, of course, uh, um, call it start, new game, continue, what you want. I'm just going to call it play. And we can even make it a bit bigger here. And for the font, we can you can use whatever you want. Um, maybe I'm just gonna use um, this one here. Looks pretty good, I think. And yeah, here you can actually uh, choose your color. And the next thing that we want to do is add a shadow. So just search. For search for shadow and this looks pretty nice so now what we want to do is uh, add another component which will be a button uh, here this button here and yeah then we want to um, of course rename this uh, let's just name it play no not play text just play and yeah um then of course we can drag it maybe up here. Good. So then you what you can simply do is duplicate this. Drag it somewhere around here. Um, this will maybe will be options. And of course here you also need to rename this to options. Good. Um, and then we want to duplicate this so. Uh, I think Alt, no, uh, Control D to duplicate, and here, uh, yeah, this looks good, and we just uh, name it Quit. So this looks pretty nice. Of course, you can always change it a bit, and also you can use other background images or something. So yeah, you can simply use whatever you want. Um, of course, we also need to call this Quit. Good, so the first um, button that we are actually going to do is the options because it's the easiest one. And under our canvas, we'll actually create a, um, a empty object and we'll call this main menu. And everything we have here, so our three buttons, we'll just drag into the main menu here. So if we disable it, our buttons are all disabled. And we make another empty object, which we'll call um, options menu. Here, good. 
and what you can also do is um, hold alt and click this one so it's uh, it matches the canvas size so yeah uh, under the options menu we can just uh, disable this one here we make a uh, new text what you can also do is actually make a button it's uh, because the button already has the uh, button component here so you don't need to add it anymore and I think we're just gonna make it to none because it looks pretty clean and we also can uh, make it a bit bigger good uh, and we can actually uh, place it on the bottom here and if you do click on this then you have your text here and we just call it back and now we can of course uh, set the font size up a little bit and maybe make another font here which looks so pretty cool um, what we will now do is um, this is of course then your options menu maybe I'm gonna make a tutorial on the options menu uh, later but um, you can just search options menu on YouTube and you'll find uh, hundreds of videos for that so yeah um, what we want to do is now under this back button we make a on click event and we will drag in our options menu and here we will select game object and then set active bool and this is good so you can either um, have a check mark or none we want a none and then we make another one and this time we will reference the main menu then we go game object and this time we want to click on it so that it gets active uh, yeah activated so now we can just disable this one and re-enable the main menu and on the options button we will uh, create two new events uh, in one we will reference the main menu and we go game object set active bool no and on the other one the options menu and we will set that to active so now if we test this right now we should be able to see here when we click on the options menu here this all uh, is gone the main menu and the options menu shows up and we click on back and it's here back in so that's great we already have the options menu set up now we only need the quit and the play button so for the quit and the play button we'll actually make a script uh, so here right click and create a new c -sharp script and we'll call this main menu good so double click on it and it should open your software maybe it's for me for me it's visual studio and yeah of course visual studio always takes a bit to open and should be there so here we actually want um on we can actually delete those things and we will make a public void and we can call it maybe quit um or quit button let's just call it quick button um yeah and here we will type in application dot uh quit so that was actually oh wait um we of course need those two here uh that was actually all we need for the quit button so now if we go out save it of course first uh you can uh, drag the script on your main menu here so just drag it here good um and now we will go to the quit button here add a new on click event and of course the main menu is on our main menu object so we will reference this one then we go to main menu and go to quit button and you won't see this in the editor but uh, if you actually now then publish your game or like uh, if you build your game then it will actually work it won't work here but we can actually test if it does work by just maybe uh, writing debug.log and let's just say uh, quit 
yeah this should be it and now we can save this of course and if we now go inside of here and hit play when we quit when we hit quit there should actually be the message quit and if this is built of course our application closes but what uh, we can actually do um, and what extra thing you can actually do is um, the quit button of course um, is when people uh, click it uh, accidentally uh, especially when you do mobile games many people will click on quit accidentally so you can actually when you when people click on quit you can make a small pop-up window which says do you really want to quit then you can say no or yes so but we won't cover that in this video maybe in another one but yeah so now the only thing that is actually left is our play button and for this we will actually go on our manuscript again and we'll create another public void and we can just uh, call it play no this I don't want this um, this uh, play no just call it play here good yeah and on the play we will actually need for the play we will actually need uh, something up here which is using uh, using unity engine unity engine uh, dot I think scene management yeah right here and now there are many methods on what you can do but we'll first um, write scene manager dot no, dot load scene and here you will actually uh, in this thing you can actually put the name of your scene that you want to load um, so we have to see what scene it is we actually go to scenes and for me here it's sample scene but uh, one thing you need to do first is you go into your build settings and inside of here you want to add this scene and what you also want to do is here click on file save and save your current main menu scene as maybe the main menu so here you can save it and now it should be inside of the assets and you can just drag it into your scenes folder good and we get to the build settings again and here you also want to add the main menu maybe here as the zero, scene zero uh, main menu should be your first scene uh, if you have like an intro scene or something then of course not but for me it's just the first scene here so the other one is called sample scene by default and we can just rename this real quick and let's just name it to scene one Good, so now it's renamed to scene one. Let's just save this real quick and save the project. And now you want to go back to your script here. And what you want to do is click, uh, no, is just type in scene one here. And now if we save this, we can go to our play button here and add an on click event and of course our script is still on the main menu so we drag in the main menu go main menu and go play so let's just save this real quick and now if we hit play and we then then we should be able to click quit it quits options options and play and we are in our other scene so this is pretty cool of course and this was this was actually the basic main menu of course you can always expand on it make it a bit more interesting add more buttons maybe credits button maybe i don't know um you can of course expand on it and yeah but this was this was actually it for the simple scene i maybe make uh i maybe expand on the uh main menu in another video so yeah definitely 
subscribe to my channel if you want to see that video too and if you enjoyed the video you can also of course like and i'll see you in the next tutorial